Hi, Francis. Thomas here. Um, I have a uh, fairly simple question, but a deep one. Um, I've never heard like a really kind of satisfying answer to the question um, that I've had and many have had um, that are, or that I've heard many articulate um, as to why consciousness um, descended billions of individualized precipitations of itself to creation to experience itself other than as some kind of test to align or realize themselves as consciousness to then transcend samsara, which that, that explanation makes some sense to me. But at the same time, it almost seems a bit cruel in a way. I don't, maybe that's just the logic of the ego, I know. And, and, and maybe the answer is just that we can't really know. But that explanation is the only one that makes any kind of sense to me. And, but it, like it, it seems kind of cruel in a way. But again, it might just be my egoic mind not being able to, or only being able to mechanically process logic and not process logic at the level of consciousness, which is unfathomable. So, The highest answer to this question is, see that your question doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why? Because your question makes an implicit assumption, which is the assumption of duality. The why is asking either what is the cause or what is the purpose. So, in your case, I think you're asking what's the purpose, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so, you see reality as having a purpose, which is external to it. If we have a purpose, we want to change things, we want to make things different. Right? It's kind of like... There is, the a di there is a division between what is and what is going to be once the purpose has been accomplished or, or met. So, so basically, it's just a, a matter of... I, I, mean, I hear what you're saying. That's very astute um, answer. Um, I guess to me, in, in more simple terms, I would just say that it's... We just can't understand. Yeah, you, can, can't you, understand. you can say that, but my answer is not complicated. It's simple. My answer to your question is your question doesn't yeah, make any yeah. sense. Yeah. How okay. simpler than that? As you said, yeah, you said I have a more simple answer. No. Okay. My answer was extremely simple. Oh, your, your simple. first answer was sim very your simple, question, but your second one was a bit complicated, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but it was the explanation of my answer. But what I was pointing at to you is this. What is the meaning of my question? If I go deep, 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 deep inside, you'll see that the meaning, I have this question only because I believe to, yeah. to be separate. I believe that there are separate individuals that go through samsara, that suffer, etc. All of that is based upon the hypothesis of a fragmented reality. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Thanks. Yeah. I know it's hard to swallow. No, no, it actually, that, that does because make sense. But, but let, let, let's go a little further than that. Uh, uh, my answer to that is, for instance, uh, uh, we enjoy, uh, if, you are, if you are in Canada, uh, the beautiful red color of the maple trees in the in the fall, right? It's so beautiful, and we say, okay, that's God's grace, you know, God's uh, God's uh, 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 glory. 
But in fact, what we are seeing are dead leaves or dying leaves, you know. But why don't we experience uh, that God is doing, is making a mistake by killing all these leaves, right? We experience that because we don't identify with the leaves, right? And then we understand that it is a renewal, that it is a renewal, that there is going to be a spring and new leaves with a very tender green, and etc. Because at, at a cosmic level, it doesn't matter. And ultimately, the, the planet Earth will disappear, right? And, uh, but all of that doesn't matter. All of that is the expression of this, and the universe itself, who knows? You know? So, but ultimately it doesn't matter either, you see? But from our human perspective, as we identify with the human bodies and it matters, then we feel that Hitler is very bad, uh, cancer not so bad. But in fact, they are both bad and not bad. You see what I mean? There are, there are, there are the ways the, the leaves turn red. It's all the limit, limitless it's, one. It's very difficult <laughs> to move from our human scale, from our human perspective, to a more universal cos cosmic perspective and understand that birth and death are the way the entire system evolves. Thank you very much. It, birth and death are the price to pay for change. In other words, for movement, for joy, for, for, for whatever. You see? We have to understand that. Thank you very much. <laughs>